everyone, it's Rachel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these Kauai frozen yogurt charms in four different flavours. So let's get started. So to begin, we're going to start by making the cup part for the frozen yogurt. So take the colour that you would like to use. I just went with white for mine. Shape the clay on your work surface so that it ends up looking like a pot for a plant. That's the kind of shape we're going for. Now to add the face, I firstly made two indents where I wanted the eyes to go and then I added in two balls of black clay. I attached on a small U-shape of black clay for the mouth and then two balls of pink clay for the cheeks on either side. For the winky face design, I made it the exact same way except for one of the eyes I positioned on two small coils of clay. Now you'll want to add a rim around your cup, so take some more of your base colour and roll it into a long coil on your work surface. Trim off one of the ends and then begin wrapping it around the top of the cup. I made sure that the join was positioned at the back of the charm so that it wouldn't be as obvious. Trim off any excess that you have and then attach the two ends together. Next up it's time to make the frozen yoghurt. Take the colour of clay that you would like to use and condition it well so that it's nice and soft. I rolled mine into a rough cone shape and then took my piping tip which I'll be using to create the yogurt. If you don't have a piping tip, I do have a separate video on the different ways that you can create a frosting look using clay, so I'll leave that linked down below. All I did was pop the clay into my icing tip and then use a large ball tool to push it through the end. If you find that the clay is too sticky or it gets stuck in the piping tip, just dust some corn flour around the inside first. When I had pushed enough clay through, I gently broke it off and then began spiralling it around once I secured it to the cup. I then just repeated this process for my other colours of frozen yogurt as well. So now is the fun part where we get to be creative and add all our toppings onto the different flavours. For my pink one, I went for a basic kind of rainbow birthday theme design. I took my Sculpey Bacon Bond and used it as a glue. I just applied this around the base of the yogurt and then I placed on some rainbow sprinkles which are just pre-baked pieces of clay. Moving on to the purple frozen yogurt, I decided to create a blackberry muesli kind of vibe. Again, I used my bacon bond liquid clay to help me secure on some pre-baked and chopped pieces of clay around the base part. To make the blackberries, I firstly mixed this dark purple colour and then I rolled it into a long thin coil so that I could cut off tiny little sections. I rolled these little sections into balls and then I placed them around a slightly larger piece of clay and once I was happy with how the blackberries looked, I added them onto the charm. Next up we have the chocolate design. I started off by making some chocolate sauce for this one, so to do that I poured out some of my liquid clay just onto a piece of paper and then I scraped in some brown chalk pastel shavings. 
Mix these in well until the colour is consistent and then you can carefully drizzle it over the top of your charm. For some extra detail, I decided to add a wafer. I took this plastic plate that I use for waffle textures because it has small square bumps on it. I pressed on some very light tan clay and then I've carefully removed it. Cut the clay into a triangle and then you can dust it with some chalk pastels to give it a more realistic colour before placing it onto the charm. Finally, I'm going to be creating a fruity design as well. For this one, I'm using polymer clay cane slices. You can buy these online or you can make them yourself. I took the strawberry and the kiwi fruit canes and I sliced off a few pieces using my blade. I then attached them to the clay using Sculpey Bacon Bond again to help secure them. To make the blueberries, roll some dark blue clay into a coil and then trim off small sections to roll into balls. Create an indent in each one using a dotting tool and then also add them to the yoghurt. Go ahead and add an eye pin if you would like to make these into charms and then you can bake them in your oven according to your package's instructions. After baking I used some super glue to secure the eye pins in and then I also added a coat of UV resin as my glaze for extra shine and protection. And there you have it, that is how you make some super cute frozen yogurt designs using polymer clay. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.